This video will show you how to enter or modify the chart of accounts, set up taxes your business collects and pays, and how to configure other Express Accounts options for your business. The default chart of accounts that comes with Express Accounts is sufficient for most businesses, but you may want to use a chart of accounts from a previous accounting system or add additional accounts at some point. The Chart of Accounts is also where you enter opening bank balances. To open the Chart of Accounts, click the View icon in the toolbar of any tab and select Chart of Accounts. If you are using the default Chart of Accounts, you will see all the accounts listed in this window. If you will be creating your own chart, the list will be empty. To add a new account, click the Add button in the toolbar. In the top section of the New Account dialog, you can quickly add any of the standard accounts listed, but in general, you will just want to create a new account using the lower portion of this window. Enter the account name, select the type of account, enter the account number, and notice that some numbers here may already be filled in for you depending on the type. Then link the account to another if necessary, and specify the opening balance if there is one. Click the Add button when you are finished to add the new account to your chart. To edit any existing account, select the account in the list. For example, we want to specify an opening balance in our checking account, so select the account and click Edit in the toolbar. Then in the Account Properties window, we can see all the settings for this account. We can change the opening balance amount and click OK to save the changes. After setting up your chart of accounts, you may see the Linked Accounts dialog. Express Accounts will automatically assign your transactions to their proper accounts when you enter transactions. But first, you will need to specify which accounts transactions should be linked to. If these aren't specified, you may not be able to edit invoices, apply customer payments, or complete purchase transactions until you do so. Most of the remaining configuration you need to set up in Express Accounts can be done from the Options dialog, found by clicking the Options icon from the toolbar on any tab. All of the remaining topics covered in this video are found in the Options dialog. Not all the following configuration is necessary, but we'll cover them here to show you the options available in Express Accounts. One of the most important settings to configure before you begin using Express Accounts is the Tax tab which is where you specify the tax rates that should be applied to your invoices and purchases. To add a new tax rate, click the Add button. Name the tax rate, such as sales tax, and enter the tax rate. In most cases, you will enter a simple tax rate. If a compound tax rate is necessary, as in some provinces in Canada, the compound tax rate will be filled out for you. For the Sales Tax Collected and Paid drop menus, select the account each type of tax should be applied to. Then click OK to add the tax. Back on the main tax tab, there are additional options for applying taxes to items and customers at the bottom of the window. You can specify that items have a default tax rate applied to them, or that their prices include tax. You can also specify new customers as tax exempt. As you can see on the Company tab, many of the details you entered in the Quick Start Wizard appear here. You can edit your details and additionally specify your business registry number if it is required and load your company logo. Express Accounts automatically increments the number of invoices, payments, receipts and checks so you don't have to keep track. The Numbering tab is where you can view the current number for each and make changes if needed. Each item has its own prefix, which will appear in front of the number on reports and lists, followed by the number. Invoices are highly customizable in Express Accounts. You have control over any text and certain design elements. Change a text item by locating the title in the drop menu. Then edit the text in the field to the right. An example of when you might want to do this is if you want to change the quantity column on an invoice to say hours to reflect a service-based business rather than a retail or wholesale business. Select quantity title in the list, then type hours in the adjacent field. Note that this change will only be seen on printed or saved invoices. 
While creating an invoice using the new invoice screen, the column will still read quantity, but will print as hours. To preview a finalized invoice with the correct term, click the Preview Invoice button near the bottom of this tab. Also on this tab, you can specify the starting invoice number or add a prefix to the invoice number. You have control over the size of your logo if you've added a logo to the Company tab of Options already. When you collect money from a customer payment, specify the account the money should be credited to in the Accounts Receivable drop menu and do the same if you collect money for freight. You have the option to leave customers a message by filling out the Note Comment field and Foot Comment field and format those messages with their associated alignment and font size menus. Notice this tab is also where you would configure similar settings for the packing slip. Just click the Packing Slip Options button at the bottom of this tab. Finally, for cosmetic changes to the look of your invoice, click the More Invoice Options button. From here, you can control where the billing and shipping addresses are positioned, how headings look, if you want shading behind every other item on the invoice, if a remittance slip is included with the invoice, and more. Preview any changes you make by clicking the Preview Invoice button. The Quote and Receipt tabs are very similar to each other. They allow you to specify the text titles, the numbering and prefix, the size your logo appears, and notes or foot comments that appear at the bottom. To preview your changes, click the Preview Quote or Preview Receipt button near the bottom of these tabs. For small-sized receipts printed on a narrow roll of paper, be sure the checkbox for this option is checked at the top of the Receipt tab. Also notice that the configuration settings for sales orders are found by clicking the Order Options button at the bottom of the Quote tab. There are a variety of regional settings you may want to double check when you begin using Express Accounts. In general, based on the location you specify during the Quick Start Wizard, these settings should already be set correctly for your region, including currency notation, decimal notation, date formatting, and paper size. You can use Express Accounts to accept payment from customers by credit card if you have an authorized account with a credit card gateway provider. On the Credit Card Gateways tab, if there are no gateways listed, click the Check for Updates button to allow Express Accounts to check for pre-configured gateway connections. If your gateway provider is not listed, you will need to add your provider's DLL formatted plugin to the folder displayed on your screen. Select the gateway you want to use in the list and click the Options button to enter your login details and to test the connection. The Other tab contains miscellaneous settings for email and fax, general reporting settings, is where you set up automatic monthly payments for your customers, and where you specify the types of payment your business accepts. More options are available by clicking the Advanced Settings button. They include options for configuring credit notes, purchase orders, and checks. The Web Access and Web Accounts tabs are used for setting up Express Accounts for Web Access. The Web Access feature allows Express Accounts to be accessed from any computer or mobile device with an Internet connection. The feature is helpful for businesses that need to give multiple users access to the same data, or for businesses that need to access data, create invoices, or enter transactions while away from the office. For more information about how to set up this feature, view our Express Accounts Web Access tutorial found at the address shown on your screen. More detail about any of the topics covered in this video can be found from the help documentation Simply click the Help button on any screen to read the relevant help topic for the page you are viewing. Thank you for choosing Express Accounts, and don't forget to see how our other business software can help your business prosper.